So Rupert, are you enjoying your day in Tasmania? I am very much so, very much so. It's um, fun to be uh, here and with so many fans. Uh, how have you found the fan reaction to the series? Um, it, it kind of continues to amaze me, you know, it finished last year and we still have, you know, just coming to these conventions, you never know if fans will go, okay, it's finished now, we're going to go on to something better. And it's just, yeah, it's amazing. They, they, they're very supportive, a very great group of people, so very lucky. And, you know, when you're on your own, you think that people go, I don't really care about that one, I was hoping for the other two. And they might think that, but they're still here and seem pleased to meet me, so it's nice. So the show finished in December with the two-part finale. What did you think of the final couple of episodes? Um, I thought it was a little brutal. Uh, like it wasn't. I felt sorry for some of the fans. So I thought, especially the time of year, Christmas Eve. If you're like, that's a bit brutal. Um, yeah, I think it was. I thought they were very good. Like you know, they were as epic, the be biggest fights we've seen, the biggest. Uh, I thought it was great. I think that it's as brutal as it was. It had to end like that. And. Yeah, I, I was really pleased with it. And I survived, so smug and pleased. Yeah. What was your favourite scene in the whole series? Um, all the battles I used to love. Um, any scene with Colin, to be honest, I loved doing because it was just a really challenge for you. And, uh, and with Tony, I loved doing scenes with him. So probably my first scene with Anthony and Richard and the tro but talking about the troll, that was probably my favourite because I was still new to it and it was fun. I actually did wonder how you kept a straight face with Colin Morgan as the older Merlin. Yeah, that, there's a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter. And that's what's great about this job, is that we did laugh a hell of a lot, so. So Leon has a bit of a tendency to defy death, and as this has led to some fans thinking he's immortal, yeah. do you think he's immortal just being okay? I can see why, uh, looking at facts, why I'm not, but I quite like the idea of being immortal. So I, don't, I try not to dispel that rumour. So I think that he, I, I, I know for a fact he probably isn't, but I don't want to say that too loudly. I survived to the end, so I could. So what have you been up to since Merlin ended? Uh, straight after I did a show called The White Queen, which is like a Philip and Gregory BBC adaptation, which is... I think coming out in England in July, or June or July. So, yeah, I've just got, I'm in a, well, the second episode or third episode. Um, but it will be good. I think it's a great script. So that's the, the thing. I'm, I would love, I love that show. And it was just to be a little part of it. It was great. So that's on it. I look forward to seeing you in that. Thank you very much. Exactly. Thank you.